Hello, I'm Lucinda Green and these are my top cross-country tips. Combinations come in all different lines and angles and shapes and sizes and you as a rider need to know that the horse has no idea that there is a second element and very often they're so busy looking at the first they get quite a shock even if the second one is directly behind or it can work the other way around they can be so busy looking at the second they trip over the first so the answer for combinations is never to be too fast to come back down to show jumping pace and your young horse i'd be it would be a small combination if he's young i'd probably be in trot because there's a lot for them to read a lot for them to mentally digest so show jumping canter and I make sure that I'm sitting in my ready for trouble seat. I make sure that the horse is still taking me to the fence. I must have that desire, even though I'm going slowly. And if I haven't got that desire, he'll get a kick because he must take me to the fence. It doesn't mean that he takes me fast. And then as he rises up over the first one, all my attention goes to the second. Sometimes I might have to angle the first one in order to get to the second. And everyone is, is a law unto itself. And it's, it's not frightening to angle a fence, but it obviously makes it more possible for them to run out and more possible for them to turn over if they hit it. So you must be polished about getting that good quality of show jumping counter and making sure that by making them go slower, you haven't got them so um, ducking to the pressure of the bit that they can't actually see where they're going. Remember, a horse sees a fence out of the bottom half of his eye. So if he's on the bit going into a fence, he actually isn't seeing it. Mm-hmm.